Hi, it's Greg Schwem with The Comedian Crashes Your Pad, and we started our latest episode in Savannah, Georgia by crashing this tour bus. You ever wanted to know what one of these looks like? Come on aboard. Everybody who has passed one of these on the road probably has no idea that maybe their favorite rock star was in it. This bus was built for Tom Petty. Used it for a couple of years, and obviously doesn't need it anymore. I don't care where you are, you are never far from a Keurig. We, we just landed a spacecraft on Mars. I think that they just went up there to drop off a Keurig, and now they're on their way back. I'm in the bus bathroom. The first thing the driver said to me when I was about to get on the bus was, no pooping in the bathroom. I don't know if he just looked at me and felt he needed to say that, but he said it. Buzz, how's the ride so far? Ride's going smooth. <laughs> is it because of the people in the bus? Or does that have nothing to do with how, how smooth the ride goes? Uh, it has nothing to do with it. All right. So how long have you been doing this? Um, gosh, uh, almost about 38 years. No kidding. Yeah. Man. Made my whole career out of it. Really? What, yeah. what got you into this? Just wanted to be where the action was. Uh-huh. This oh. is pretty much well in the middle of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're with us if you want action. <laughs> I don't mean to disappoint you. So, uh, you've obviously driven around some uh, pretty big names. Uh, yeah. what, what can you tell me and what do you want to keep secret? Um, well, there's a whole lot of secret stuff. <laughs> they're, all, they're, they're all basically the same as everybody else. I mean, you know, they get up in the morning, they're grouchy, they go to bed, you know, just carry out through their day, do their job, and get on the bus and roll to the next city. Who's been on this bus that uh, the audience would, for the most part, know? Well, on this one? Yeah. Um, well, of course, uh, you know, Tom Petty was toured for, you know, for a while. Um, Harry Connie Jr.'s been on it. Uh, Justin Bieber's been on this one. Really? Okay. I'm on Bieber's bus? Yeah. Oh, for okay. a short time, it sure was. Okay. Now it's used by Party on the Moon, one of the country's top corporate and private party bands. Meet Dennis Smith the bus owner and band's founder. Hey Dennis, Yeah. is there a pecking order for who gets to sit up there? Maybe not. I do. Okay, <laughs> that's the pecking order? And what I say goes. That's why you're up there and we're all back yeah, here, yeah, I think. But if you want to sit up here, you can. You want oh, to come up here and sit? No, that's okay, I'm fine for right now. I'll wait till you uh, leave. No, you obviously uh, have very important business. Party on the Moon is not a democracy, okay? I don't do democracy. It's not like a marriage, okay? Uh huh. No one else gets the vote. It's, it's more of an aut aut like buzz. autocracy. Buzz gets the vote. Okay. I hear you have a great Bruce Springsteen story. That's all that Dennis told me. He said, ask Buzz about his Bruce Springsteen story. Uh, probably the best one that I had with him was um, our very first tour that I did with him. It was our very first night. We were in State College, Pennsylvania. And he was uh, walking out of his dressing room, and I was going down the breezeway, walking from one side of the arena to the other. And he came out and he stepped on one of my shoes. And I always wear white tennis shoes. So he had put a big scuff across the top of it. So, you know, I didn't think anything about it. You know, this Bruce Springsteen, what are you going to say? Hey, dude, you just, you know, you stepped on my shoe. That's right. So, anyway, we were going to Florida. Get on Amazon right now. Yeah, exactly. I need a new pair of shoes. We were going to uh, Florida to do a bunch of shows. We had Orlando, Tampa, Miami, Sunrise, a whole bunch of shows down in Florida. Well, when I got to my hotel, I uh, opened the door up, and on my table was the exact same size, the exact same kind of shoe that he stepped on when we were in Pennsylvania. Wow. I'm like, really? Who does that? Yeah. You know, who does the investigation on something that's minute, you know, uh -huh. that small? Uh, so, yeah, that was that was pretty much, well, a, a, a christening moment for me to, to really think that, you know, these guys really do care about what, you know, the people are. Yeah, you weren't driving him. Were you driving members of his crew? Uh, yeah, we were doing all the production stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you like best about this job? Um, I can get up here and close that window or close the little curtain there, and I'm up. I'm, this is my world. This is where I live. This is where I do my best thinking. Um, I've made a whole lot of life decisions, you know, sitting right here looking at the world go by. Um, 
I'd just rather have this as an office as opposed to a four-room cubicle. You know? Sleeps 12. Notice how I did not say that it comfortably sleeps 12, but it does sleep 12. There is absolutely no way to shoot a selfie video from one of the bunks on a tour bus and make yourself look thin. So I'm not even gonna try. Let's check out my film crew, see what they're doing. Passing all the bucks. Sorry to interrupt. How are you guys doing back here? Good. They're in the master, what do we call this? The master berth or something like that, the back right? Lounge. Ma what is it? Back lounge. The back lounge. Back lounge. Back lounge. Wow. Back lounge. It's unbelievable. This is where like all business gets done. Yeah, exactly. So, is this where you guys go just to get away from me? Yes. <laughs> Good to know. Best story that you can think of that you can tell me that happened on this bus? That happened on the bus. We did a gig in Aspen three years, two years ago. And we had two back-to-back -back weeks in Jackson Hole in okay. Aspen. Nice. Actually three. Man. So what we I gotta get your agent. <laughs> so what we decided to do was take the bus and just stay. Right, right. Some of the musicians flew and some of the musicians came on the bus. So we had about six of us on the bus and we are in Arkansas. Right. And um, <laughs> And Arkansas on your way to Aspen. Yeah. Already this story's getting good. Yeah, okay. I think we were in Arkansas. Somewhere we were. We were going to Montana first. Okay. So, so anyway, uh, we stop at a rest stop. All right. Bus it. You know, we're the rest stop. Everybody get out. You know. Yeah. Yada, yada. And we get on the bus. And uh, about an hour and a half later, we get a text from our trombone player. <laughs> a trombone player's girlfriend. Who says that. <laughs> that we have left him at the rest stop 80 miles back. <laughs> what? what? Why does the trombone so, player always so, get left? I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah so and the he, bass player. So he gets off the bus without his wallet and without his phone. <laughs> and it takes him 90 minutes to beg someone to text his girlfriend to text us Wait, no, wait, there's only six of you. You can't count to six? <laughs> the no, head count? No, but you don't know if they're sleeping. You know, you oh, that's know, true, you know. I suppose. So so when you when you so, get back on, it's not like parents. It's so not we, like so everybody, we, I... So, so we haven't talked to him because we can, right? <laughs> After he had begged this person, please, I don't want your phone. Just text my wife, right? He's just... <laughs> Sitting there with just shorts, <laughs> tears coming out of his eyes. This is when you have to turn the bus around. Sit together. <laughs> it's funny now. It, well, it's funny because I think you, said, you know what made it funny for me when you said the trombone player. It could have only have been. <laughs> It could have only have been the trauma. <laughs> Why do we need uh, Wi-Fi on the bus, Brad? Because we're trying to access Roku so we can look at Comedian Crash your pal with Greg Schwimm. That's right. Yeah, on yeah. the Fantastic yeah. Entertainment Channel. Plus, we're trying to uh, SpongeBob and comes on four. And we are back. Home sweet home. Well, not really, but that's as far as the bus goes. Now I get in my car and head back to Chicago. Hope you enjoyed the tour, everybody.